my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Two by Two Noah and the Flood. Let's read. The earth filled with up people, but they kept I kept disobeying God and hurting each one other. God was so sorry that He had made them. He decided to send a flood to wash everyone, even everyone on earth. So there were so many sins. People began to sin so much. So God was so sorry that He made them. So God decided to send a flood to wash everyone. There was a man named Noah who wasn't like the others. Noah loved God and obeyed him. God decided to spare Noah and his family from the flood. So, but there was a family named Noah. They obeyed God and loved God, so God decided to spare Noah and his family. They're looking happy, right? They wasn't like others. They loved each other and helped them. God warned Noah about the flood. He told him to build an enormous boat with the Low roof, three floors, uh, three f- floors, a window on the door. Noah obeyed God and built it. So God warned Noah about the food flood. God said to make up enormous boat with a low roof, three doors, and a window. And, door. and God and Noah obeyed God. Question Who loved and who loved and obeyed God? Number three, a thief. Number two, um a teasing boy. Number three, Noah and his family. Number three was the correct answer. Noah and his family obeyed God. God told Noah to collect two of every kind of animal. One male, one female. Then God did, then Noah, his family, and the animals went into the boat. God shut the door. So God told Noah to collect every two kind of animal. Every kind of animal with two. Two of every kind of animal. One female and male. <clears throat> they couldn't collect every two of every kind of animal with God's help. But God helped them. Because like they about it. If they when Noah has brought the <clears throat> rabbit and uh, wolf. The wolf can eat rabbit. So God had to help them. So God helped them. And when all kinds of animals and Noah's family have went into the boat, God shut the door. <sighs>
the it rained it for forty days and forty nights. Water fell from the sky and rose from the oceans and lake. When the tallest mountains disappeared beneath the flood, so it rained until forty days and forty nights. It kept raining and water fell from the sky, and also the. Tallest mountain disappeared because of the rain. Question: Did God tell Noah to take one of each kind of animal on the ark? No, God told Noah to take two kinds of. Two of each kind of animal on the ark: one female and male. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Meanwhile, Noah, his family, and all the animals were safe in the boat, floating on the flood waters. God had not forgotten about Noah, not even for a moment. So meanwhile, Noah and his family was taking care of animals, and they were all safe in the boat because God, I mean, protect them, and also they obeyed God and loved God, and <coughs> God has forgotten. God didn't forget Noah, not even. A moment. God sent a wind to blow. The waters went down. The boat landed on mountain Ararat. Noah sent out a dove. When it didn't return, he knew it was safe. So God sent a Went to blow, the waters went down, and now they. The boat landed on the mountain, and when the dove didn't return, he knew it was safe. <laughs> when the ground was dry, God told them to come out. He put a rainbow in the sky as a promise that he would never flood the whole world again. So the rainbow is the promise that he will never flood the whole world again. Rainbow is a gift of a promise of God. Do you like rainbows? Question: God put a rainbow in the sky. As a promise that he would never flood the whole world again. You're singing. True. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.